Speaking about unemployment, I know we it's been a fight here in the state for a lot of people and we still hear just this week we're hearing from uh, quite a few people still who have not received anything said they applied back in April and saying I, I've got an email from here someone saying I, I've been living off my savings for my mortgage my car it's run out I don't know what to do anymore what do you still say to these people how how do you explain to these people that they haven't gotten their money it's months down the line and they're suffering yeah. uh, it's hard and it's hard because uh, this is the, the perfect storm of neglecting for, for decades, neglecting our safety net and then having something like COVID and record unemployment happen all at once. Now, right now we're operating on a computer system that was put in in the year 2000, where I think flip phones might have been the newest technology that was out there. That system was also designed with state and federal law to tell people no, to try to tell as many people no. And right now we're in a position where we all want to tell as many people yes to help them get through. Um, about three years ago, the, the last administration and, and, and the legislature allowed us to cut our regional offices and cut about 95 people that would be really helpful right now. But my job is to fix it. And, and we are really close. So we brought in an outside consultant. We've, we've beefed up our office and the number of people that are in it. Uh, virtually every March, April, May, and even June claim is 95% complete. But the federal government makes us write a decision with these complicated claims that's about a two-page letter that's got to be specific to, to each individual. Now, that is a pain in the butt. But more than that, it takes a lot of time. But we are grinding through that with just finishing that 5%. And my hope for that individual and everybody else is that help is, is on the way. And we're working as hard as we can through a really complicated system that you know, we should have maintained a lot better. And I hope that, that this teaches us that lesson moving forward. Is there anything more they can do if they've done all the right things? Or is it truly just a matter of sitting and waiting? I know these are the people who've gone to Frankfurt or have gone to the other locations right. where they could get the in-person help. Is there anything you could tell them maybe so, try this? so if if they have received the the call um, which which most have from either ernst and young or others it is just waiting on that final letter we can try to get them an update on where their their status is every week we we whittle these down and we believe um, now we're allowed to bring in extra help the department of labor has agreed to let us do that and so we hope to get through them uh, quicker um, for all of those people, you know, I, I wish we'd done better to date. That's not a criticism of our people that are working hard. It's just the reality that people out there need help. And, and we're working as hard as we can to get them that help.